right, YouTube, we're finally gonna finish this list. You're gonna finish what? Let's go. All right, the first part of any fridge, fridge fixing project is to take out all the things inside. Oh, and what is the problem we're fixing? This is a Samsung fridge that we bought at Sears and it has the twin cooling fans plus whatever it has the ice master on this side which we've never used um it has this stuff on this side so if you have a samsung and it's causing you problems like almost all of them do uh, i'm going to help you try to fix one of those problems i've already fixed one of the other problems on this on this fridge but uh, there's another issue which is it freezes everything in the refrigerator so if you have that problem, pay attention because we're about to tackle that problem right now. So after you finish taking off the top drawers, you can start taking this off. I guess you do have to take this one off. I will add, last problem I had with this refrigerator was that getting too cold and building up ice. And so ice was building up in here and I fixed that. I think all I did was clean off the heating element, which I'll show you in a minute. But I had a really hard time taking off one of these screws last time. I think I almost stripped it. It's the one that's underneath here. You do have to take off this tray because there's two screws here that are holding on. Bottom of the cover. This cover, now there's one more screw um, at the bottom. You'll have to take off, but I never put mine back in because I stripped the screw because the last time I had issues, I was working on this. I uh, had the hardest time taking off that bottom one. So you got one, two, three, four. Now, two connectors, I think, that are holding this thing together. So let's see here. See those back there? Let's disconnect those because I think we're gonna be replacing one of them. All right, so let me show you what I did here. Um, there's, there were two connectors holding this thing on. And on one of them, the, the clip thing is, is on the side. So if you push that, it'll let you pull it off. And then the other one, it's a little bit harder to get to. It's on the bottom. So you push this and it'll, it'll release. So those are connected here and here. They only go back in one place, so you won't have a problem figuring that out when you put it back together. So last time what was going on was this thing was covered with ice and I defrosted my refrigerator completely. And um, that's what uh, did it. And then I also, this thing was messed up. So the water, when it defrosts it, it, it drains down here and something was going on with that. I forgot what it was, but I just defrosted all this and, and it just, been working ever since um oh okay so it looks like here's the problem right here this is uh this is not kicking in so it's not telling something what to do and so i'm going to replace this thing right here this is some sort of a sensor it looks like the one that i bought so i'm guessing that's the thing i need to replace let's check it out Here's the piece I bought. It's been a long time since I watched a video on YouTube on how to do this. Uh, but just by looking at this, I'm looking, okay, this looks like um, this one right here. So I follow that wire down and then there's a little black thing just like mine. So it looks like it's just pushed in there with two little buttons, you see that? So we're just gonna pull on this and then replace it. So let's see if I can do that. If I could do this, you could do this. Actually, let me unplug it from the top. So there's a clip on the side here. So I push that and that'll allow me to pull on it better. Boom. Oh, looks like we've got a problem here, race fans. This thing has two. And that means I probably got the wrong part number. F because there's two wires, but this one only has one going to the plug. The other one goes down here to some other part. And mine, both of the wires go here. Shit. 
So this part number is 244U. And the one I got is, I have no idea, <laughs> this one. So there's an appliance store by my house. I'm gonna go see if I can find this thing here. Because this is close, but both of the wires go into the clip. And on this one, one wire goes to this and the other wire goes down here somewhere some other part in this thing right here so let's see if I can find that part at the parts place so I'm gonna just replace the one that I have here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and take it with me to the appliance store so I make sure I get the exact match it looks like this one here goes up here and then the other piece goes down to the heating element but let me just see if I can get the right part but to do that, I need to take this off. So all these tabs are bendable. These are aluminum. And um, so you can take this thing out. Uh, so you can just bend them back to get them out of the way. To allow you to remove this piece here. So there we go. Right. Now, aha. Okay, here we go here. Let's see. Oh, I just wanted to do that. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay. So these two things, these clips attach to each other and um, hold this together so it's like box but they actually separate so that way the white one has its red clip and the blue one has its red clip here's the design here so it's going to be connecting over on one side and then it connects over on the other side and then the element that I bought actually um, what it does is just connect them both on one side so you see that Instead of having it go in two different directions, it, they just both go to one clip. Just a change in the design, different model. So that's the big thing. You've got to make sure you get the right part um, for your model number fridge. So if you look inside your refrigerator, it says model code. So make sure you get a picture of that. Write that down when you go to the parts store. Let's go. Let's go to the parts store and let's try to find this dang part. And hopefully that'll fix my fridge once and for all. Coast Appliance. Decided to try to find a part that I needed locally instead of Amazon. Let's find out. They got my part. All right, YouTube. So I just uh, came out of the appliance store and luckily, according to a tech, they had my part there he says um, I guess they don't usually carry stuff for Samsung but this is it my local appliance parts supply here in San Diego here's the new one right here cost me uh, cost me 59 bucks all right so we got the replacement part let's put it on this little thing we got to take it off and put it on the new one. The new one doesn't come with this, so we got to take it off. But it has a rivet here, so we got to take that rivet out somehow. All right, well, since this piece is aluminum, I basically just stretched it out over the rivet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just squish it back on. Here's the new one. It's going to clip, wrap it around the bottom here, and then we'll just, with some pliers, I'll just squeeze this back together. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to reuse this and um, just pretty much just bend the aluminum around the rivet again. Oops, just make sure it's straight so it points down into the little hole, the drip hole. And this is just to keep the water that drips off of this um, into heat 
into the little hole so it doesn't get clogged up. So it def helps defrost the water that drips down into that hole and make sure it stays clear. I think that's what happened last time. That hole was clogged up and so the water was not dripping down and was not able to drain. So I think that's what happened the last time this thing broke. So now let's put this new piece in to the fridge. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so um, there's a white plastic thing there. So you make sure this brown wire runs through that plastic thing. And then the heater is gonna, there's a little white plastic thing. Make sure it's inside there. Okay, and then it runs down. And then you have a tab right here. So I just bent that, you know, I bent that up to take this off. So bend it back down. Make sure this is hanging down inside here and you wrap it around here and then I'll bend this tab down just to lock it back in place but it's not going to move and then over here again the same thing you see that so it's going to slide in there okay and then um, this is going to do a little loop like that and it's going to pop into place there's two little holes right there that hold it into place and then this wire is going to go back up there all right so um let me put this back together this these clips back together with the red little thing make sure they're back together and we'll put that back in there we'll probably put a zip tie right here because i think that's where the zip tie was at but i'm going to go back and look at my video to double check so we got the um, heater element wrapped up in there. Just got to clip this back close. All right, so that's clipped in there. Now let's put our, let's put these parts back together. Oh, okay. All right. There it is. So that's how it goes back together. Okay. The little red part slips on the inside there. And then on the outside, you have the two shorter tabs. And then it clips there as well on the top and the bottom. Holds it all together. And then that is going to go in there. So you see the longer piece goes on the bottom. There's um, on the inside there, there's three prongs. And then on the inside here, there's three. See, one of them is empty. So that's gonna match up with that. We'll actually only go in one way because it has um, kind of like these guides on it. And if you don't put it in, it won't allow you to slide it into the clip. So don't worry about like, oh man, do I have it right? It's only gonna go in one way. All right, so now we got that in. We need to put a zip tie right here. So they stay together. Let's put this thing back on there. So it's just going to push into those two holes right there and right down there. You can see that. All right, so it's pushed in. And then this is going to go here. And again, these things only go in one way. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little ridge right here. And then, of course, you have the tab on this side, the clip part. And it will only allow you to... Put it in put it in the middle one if you're not sure you can look inside there you can see a little metal thing so that clips back in there and then just bend this tab back over bend this one back over there's a third one right there bend that one back over and uh yeah there was only one over here on this side so it looks like we're all good Again, I'm just going to zip tie these two together. That's back in place. Um, there we go. Then we'll put the cover back on. And hopefully that fixes our problem. Oh, let's bring this back over. Probably helps keep the heat in place.
good. We'll clip off the extra. Let's put the cover back on. Here's the cover. Remember, we gotta plug these things back in. Let's put this back on. All right, this goes there. Long screw on top. So that's basically it. We got the cover back on, put everything back in. Now the big test is gonna be if it works or not. So I'm gonna plug the refrigerator back in and I'll check in about a few days and if my food isn't frozen, I'll let you know and let you know if it worked. Peace.